What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today I'm doing a quick video on Espresso rules, but instead of telling you which rules you should follow, I'm actually gonna tell you which rules you should be breaking and how breaking those rules can result in better espresso. The very first rule I think we should be breaking is shot time. I don't mean massively, you still need the grinds to provide some resistance to the water because you still want to have the crema and all that other good stuff that comes along with a high pressure extraction, but start with aiming for shots at or close to the 20 second range. Fast shots get a bad rep as under extracted, but that's not always the case. As I've talked about before in terms of most brewing methods, a coarser grind means water can pass through the coffee not only more easily, but at a more even rate. In most cases this results in an extraction yield well within and in some cases above the specialty standards of 18-20%. to 20%. But for me, personally, lowering my dose and shot time has resulted in some of the most balanced and tasty shots I've had to date, from light to dark, from single origin to blend. So kick that preconception of the traditional 25 second minimum to the curb, and you may be pretty surprised at what you'll find. Wouldn't it be nice if dialing in a tasty shot of espresso was as simple as hitting a 1 to 1, 1 to 2, or 1 to 3 ratio, but the fact is, we live in reality and nothing is that simple. Ratios aren't magic. They're great learning tools and starting points, but they'll rarely take you to the peak of any coffee's flavor potential. More importantly, I'd focus on developing a better understanding on what you're tasting and why. A good starting point is over and under extraction, which tastes bitter and sour respectively, and then make the necessary adjustments to please your taste buds. If you need help in that department, I've got a tutorial on dialing in light roast that has a lot of great info on the variables that can be helpful with understanding espresso dial-in, regardless of your roast level. As baristas, I know we're all very excited to dive right into that shot of espresso we just pulled, and with that rumor flying around that espresso shots die relatively quickly, it seems like the best thing to do. But is it? A little while back, I did a poll on my Instagram to see how quickly people drank their shots of espresso, and about 50% of the respondents said they toss it back in less than a minute. Of course, I'm not here to gatekeep how you enjoy your espresso. If you want to drink your espresso fast, then drink it fast. But if you're feeling froggy and want to try something new, maybe sip it over the course of 5-10 to 10 minutes and see what you find. When we drink hot beverages, our tongue can't pick up all those delicate nuances straight from the portafilter. Instead, they pick up broader notes, textures, and of course, heat. By giving yourself just a little extra time to sip on that shot of espresso, you may find it opens up to a much wider range of flavors. Each coffee will be different, but generally I don't find any major degradation in taste or oxidation effects until it drops to about 110 degrees. Like all things in this wide world of coffee, these are just serving suggestions and your results may vary, and of course, it kind of goes without saying, but you should always prioritize taste above everything else, even above what I say. And on that massive bombshell, it's time for me to wrap this one up. And of course, if you have any burning questions, comments, or ideas for future espresso brewing videos you want to see from me, let me know all those in the comment section down below. And of course, I'll see y'all next week. And of course, a big thank you to my June Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, Christopher, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Andre, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Samantha, Claire, Stephen, Alexis, Bound Copy, James K, Josh Horrison, Corey C. Curry, Jeff Froth, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt Ray, Home Barista Coach, Gumby, Zachary V, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Brandon B, Tyler M, Barista Michael, Sebastian, Matthew C, JRC, Absolute, Stephen G, Jose, Lauren, Keefe, and Stephen A. And of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy. <laughs>